in this video we will learn uh, what kubedb is offering if to run the redis cluster so let's first know about the challenges you may face when you want to run redis cluster in kubernetes so uh, to run redis cluster you need to provision your database and then maintain your database so to provision your database you need to know different kubernetes concept such as uh, stateful set service and persistent volume you uh, need to know about helm to provision the database and to maintain you need to handle different scenarios so you can uh, you should uh, recover your database in different disaster scenarios and uh, you need to upgrade your version when a new version comes up and uh, you need to you may, may need to scale your database horizontally and vertically according to the use case and sometimes your database will grow uh, larger and then you need to expand your volume so let's have a look what kubedb is offering to meet these challenges so uh, using kubedb you can uh, provision your database by just applying a yaml and uh, the database will be maintained by kubedb then uh, kubedb provides automatic failover which means that uh, your database will uh, face different disaster scenarios when your database face disaster scenarios let's say some nodes dies or some nodes does not accept any connections then again when the node comes back they want to join the cluster so kubedb will help you help the nodes to join the cluster so um, the cluster will be always ready when the nodes come back and uh, kubedb provides uh, ops request using them you can uh, scale your database horizontally or vertically according to your need and kubedb also provides a version upgrade you can upgrade your version by deploying a yaml and uh, when your database grows larger you can expand volume using kubedb and uh, kubedb also provides support for tls you can make your database connection tls secured uh, kubedb does that using cert manager so you can add tls to a cluster and remove tls from a cluster you can also update your tls configurations and when your uh, TLS certificate is about to expire, you can rotate the certificate to get new certificate with new expiry date. And then kubedb also provide monitoring solutions. You can get different metrics and uh, monitor your database. And uh, with that, uh, in the next video, we'll look at how to deploy a Redis cluster in, uh, in, in Kubernetes using kubedb. Thank you.